We're back. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Kendall Roy stole my haircut. <laughs> he did. Yeah. He did. Has anyone seen my fucking kids? Oh, <laughs> yeah, Also, why did his kids grew up like six years in yeah. two seasons? Did they not? Yeah. Wasn't that kid like a toddler when Logan hit him? I thought. <laughs> Wasn't he? He was like four. I, is that what he did? did? Logan hit his kid? Logan hit the kid, yeah. What episode was that? <clears throat> like three or something. Super early in the first season. Why I'm did he sure. hit him? Uh, because it was Thanksgiving and the kid was like, oh, it was the, uh, the game that they were playing. Like, uh, I bring this to an island and the next person has to bring that plus one other thing. And it's like a memory game. Oh. And Logan was like still recovering from his stroke. Mm. And he like couldn't remember. And the kid was like, I forget what it was, but the kid like took something from him or something. And he was like, it's mine. The can, Damn. yeah, which designates whose turn it is. And he's like, I'm still thinking. And he like nailed the kid in the face. Fucking power move. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm kidding. I'm totally that's a kidding. power move. <laughs> and that's just, that's his character. Man. Yeah, that's, that's a Logan ball. move right there. <clears throat> just slapping a child. Um, you know, you thought Kendall was going to get some kind of something. Yeah. Then his dad hit him with the, that, that wry smile before he's like, how long was he underwater? Oh, God. How long was he under that he started sucking water? Ugh. I think that's what the, he was doing at the end of the episode, yeah. right? Yeah. Just yeah. Counting it out. Yeah. Uh oh! Wait, what is that? What he was doing? I think that's what it was. Ah, uh, I see. He's like seeing. Damn! I didn't even think of that. No, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought he was just straight up drowning. Nah, because he drops the beer bottle, and so I was like, "Oh man, is it?" He wasn't in the preview for the next episode, so maybe he. I mean, what's so funny is the best quote is that. He's not playing it like a comedy. He's playing it like it's Hamlet. <laughs> and he's concerned that people think this show is a comedy. <laughs> it is a fucking comedy. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's I don't fucking even... produced by Will Ferrell, is it not? <clears throat> it's hilarious. <clears throat> How can you say that before the, ep the episode where Roman says a dick pic to his own dad? Yeah. yeah. Clearly it's a fucking comedy. Yeah. That whole scene? Fuck, dude. Yeah. Yeah, someone screenshotted just his faces, and they were like, he deserves an Emmy just for these. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. it's so true. That face that he makes when yeah, he realizes when like, his mistake, and he's like, it's yeah. so good. When he looks at his dad, just he's the, like, <laughs> tough moment to sell, dude. Tough moment, man. Are you a sicko? Yeah. Are you a sicko? Roman! <laughs> Are you a sicko? Like, what? You just send him. It's like, here's my dick, you know? Dude, when he fucking stand, that line... I'm not like a hardcore feminist or anything, but I don't think we should fire Jerry for receiving, <laughs> receiving pictures, pictures, pictures of, of my dicks. dick. <laughs> Damn. You know, it's all about... Yeah, Shiv, Shiv is being... Ugh, man. She getting, she's shiving it up. She's just... Yeah. Twist it. Yeah. That was crazy, the wink-wink she was doing with Jerry. Has this happened more than once? Yeah. But then basically, like, putting the blame on her for not reporting it, you know? It's like... Yeah, she's trying to scam her. In the into... wake of everything that's happening, it's like we, you know, wouldn't really be smart for the CEO of this company not to report <clears> it <throat> happening to her. So you're trying to get Roman out. Yeah, but that's like a fucked up way to do it. Hmm? Hilarious um, that Roman botches his whole trajectory with a picture of his penis. I know. How fitting. Yeah. <laughs> He's a sicko. Are you a sicko? Are you a sicko? Do you have a problem? <laughs> No, Dad, have you heard a dick pic? Dude, and he was like, we invented a media company, probably came up with the fucking phrase. <laughs> that was so good. I'm like, damn, dude, you cannot get one over on this yeah, guy. Yeah. You hate him. Yeah. When does Logan Roy die? Yeah. Like, He's people not, were. Dude, some, some dude, I saw some dude at a restaurant the other day, his, his shirt said, assholes live forever. Yeah. And the person I was with was like, yeah, Logan Roy, look at him. I was like, true. Yeah. yeah. Because they can't be, they can't um, submit, mm. not even to sickness, you know? Yeah. Like, Logan Roy would probably have a heart attack and still be flipping off the fucking, you know, paramedic. Yeah. Don't fucking revive me! <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably have a stroke and freeze his left hand as a middle <laughs> finger. 
<laughs> it was but, a great episode, though. Yeah. And Greg just trying to level up. Yep. Damn. Well, look at the time. <laughs> so good. Jesus, dude. He's act got like, zero game. Yeah, act like you've been somewhere. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of endearing, though. Yeah. I think that's what pulls people in. Yeah. Because he does that goofy shit, and he's like, I heard you're of the uh, uh, royal persuasion. <laughs> Pretty disarming, you know? <laughs> I know. It really, it's like, is this guy serious? Yeah. <laughs> is he dumb? It's kind of charming. Yeah. Weirdly. Yeah. He's really tall. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, now- That's if, what it does. It just makes him realize, this guy's weird, but he's tall. Yeah. If if it was inverse, if Roman was uh, Greg's height being the way he was, he'd be hated by everyone. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. And if Greg was a little man walking up to him, like, look at the time, swat him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see that Go away. <laughs> see that tweet that was like, watch out, short kings. Yeah, there's Don't a hawk outside. outside. There's a hawk outside. <laughs> I saw a hawk flying around. <laughs> so many people sent me that. Fuck you. <clears throat> I can fight off a fucking hawk. Dude. I wear the coyote vest too, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I guess the whole thing about this is that he's a method actor. Oh, Jeremy Strong. Yes. Yeah. Gotta play Kendall. And he like puts himself through hell to play this character. Like he's like actually this tortured. Well, he's nailing it. Yeah, he really is. And it's funny because this quote, he's not playing it like a comedy. He's playing it like he's Hamlet. Totally plays into his character. Yeah. Who would never realize that people are laughing at him. No. That must be brutal for the whole time he's filming this shit. He's in Kendall mode. Yeah. And what if he just like wakes up in the morning and is like chirping at people? Yeah. Like do things for him? Like, like you're not people a- on set? No, just like- Is his family? Like his girlfriend yeah. and like his, a- his actual wife? Yeah. Uh, where, where the fuck are we at? Where the fuck are we at? <laughs> Honey, with, with you're, you're at home. There's, Snap out of it. This, please. One day- when I asked Brian Cox, who plays Logan... Unbelievable name, by the way. Yeah, of course. Brian Cox. Who plays Logan, the patriarch, to describe Strong's process, he struck a note of fatherly concern. The result that Jeremy gets is always pretty tremendous. I just worried about what he does to himself. I worry about <laughs> the crisis he puts himself through in order to prepare. Cox, a classically trained British stage actor, has a turn-it-on, turn-it-off approach to acting. And his relationship with Strong recalls a famous story about Lawrence Oliver working with Dustin Hoffman in the 1976 film Marathon Man. On learning that Hoffman had stayed up partying for three nights before a scene, which he had, a, had to appear sleep-deprived, Oliver said, My dear boy, why don't you try acting? <laughs> Cox told me actors are funny creatures. I've worked with intense actors before. It's a particularly American disease. <laughs> I think... I think this inability to separate yourself off while you're doing the job. Damn. Huh. Wow. Way to own Americans in the process there. Strong had me te- had sent me text messages from Italy, including a poem by Cecil Day Lewis, and thoughts on the invisible work of acting. Since I'd seen him in New York, he had shaved his head twice, once as Kendall and once as himself. On his phone, he showed me photos of Jack Dorsey, the co-founder of Twitter, both clean-shaven and with a Rasputin beard. Strong Rasputin, thought that Kendall bro. should... That's Rasput- Rasputin. Hmm? Your Canadian just came out. Rasputin. Rah, rah, Rasputin. <laughs> they say Rasputin. My Canadian was, came out poutine. Yeah, yeah, you just saw Putin and you were like, poutine. <laughs> Can't you pronounce it both ways? I thought it was Rasputin. Rah, rah, Rasputin, lover of the Russian queen. He was a cat that uh, really oh. was on. Yeah. I That's Boney I'm- M, isn't it? I heard that song like once. That's a there's like an EDM remix of it now. That's huge. Yeah. Oh. Anyways, Strong thought that th- that Kendall should go through a similar physical evolution. He said, citing the third line of Dante's Inferno. Oh my God! The straight road had uh, been lost sight of. <laughs> no one, Strong included, wanted a cliched scene of Kendall staring into the mirror with a razor. So the transformation took place off camera. Nevertheless, no style of shade his head strong, went silent to experience the moment as part of Kendall's backstory. After the season wrapped, he shaved his head again as an exorcism. <laughs> yeah, he is Kendall. He really is. This is crazy. What the fuck, dude? Shut up, Kendall. I gotta hear I gotta read this. Yeah, one. yeah. Uh, he kept doing this speech that he had sort of written, Culkin said. All I remember is him saying rootin' tootin' a lot. By the third take, he starts that speech again, and Snook looks at him as Shiv and goes, Shut up, Kendall. (laughs) (laughs) He must be a fucking monster on set. 
can't even imagine. You have to go in a character. When he pulls up, it's like, oh, here we go. Oh, God, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the cameras aren't even rolling yet. Yeah, everyone's like, in Roman, what's up? No, dude. I'm, I'm not doing I'm not, the Roman. I'm too tired for this. Yeah. He's pulling the character out yeah. of you. That's yeah. kind of good, though. Yeah. Yeah. I like when people do that between. Yeah. I, I just like makes it. I don't know. When they run lines and you like actually get into character. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Kendall. <laughs>